summer rain on a window. Watch the time float on. Cool air blows a memento as I fall behind. I'm so. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reset routine. I am on my second month of my second semester of this school year and I feel like second semester is always harder than the first semester and there's usually a lot more work and like tests and stuff in my classes. Also, my 16th birthday is coming up in less than two weeks and my family and my friends are all doing things to prepare so it's getting very chaotic and stressful and with everything going on, I wanted to do a reset routine. So that is exactly what I'm doing in today's video. I kind of already started it as you guys I saw. I like to start out this routine by just cleaning up my environment just because I feel like my clean space helps me be more productive. I don't like to do a lot of makeup on these days because one, it's not really needed. And also with like makeup that I wear on other days, I want to keep my skin feeling clear. But I did do like a little bit of concealer and mascara and like eyebrow gel just because I'm filming a video today. And sometimes doing just a little bit of makeup helps me feel more put together. As you guys probably noticed, I already had two pimple patches on from overnight. And when I took them off, they were like just about ready to like open up I guess and like heal over but this one especially wasn't completely not popped but like opened up I guess from the pimple patch so I took it off a little early so I put another one back on here and then up here so if you see them don't mind them we're just gonna have them on for the day this one is really big and painful and I wanted to kind of show that to you guys because normally I would say I do have pretty good clear skin obviously I still get pimples every once in a while and so yeah we have that one and that one this one definitely is hurting a lot so hopefully it won't hurt as much later. But yeah, I just did a little bit of makeup and like skincare to kind of get ready for the day. I also had a good little Starbucks to start off my day. And as you guys saw on my Notion page, I have a whole reset routine typed out. And this is just the routine that I do, or at least I try to do weekly to kind of reset for the next week and for everything that's coming up. The next few weeks are going to be really, really busy for me. I already kind of told you guys I have a lot going on with school. And then my 16th birthday is coming up, which me and my friend Nika have the same birthday. So we're putting together a birthday weekend to just do a bunch of fun birthday things with like all of our friends and family and we've got it pretty much planned out but it's still a little in the works and so that's definitely taking up a good amount of time and then I also have two more driving lessons like behind the wheel before my driver's test which that is also in like three weeks I think so we've got a lot going on but this reset routine really does help me feel better about everything and more organized and I haven't done this in a while actually I've definitely needed to do it so that's what we're doing today by the way this is the first time I've actually like put my hair up in a claw clip. My hair doesn't usually stay in claw clips very well, but I saw this TikTok of a way to help it stay and it actually works. It doesn't look the best, but honestly, it's very like secure and it's holding my hair back. I just wanted to mention that that's like the first time I've ever worn a claw clip for like a good period of time. But there's three main parts to my reset routine. The first part is cleaning. The second part is doing things that are like relaxing and like make me feel good. And then the third part are getting things done that I need to get done or planning for the things that I need to do. So we've already done the cleaning part which includes cleaning my room and then also like skincare and stuff and I think what I want to do is do like relaxing things before I get all my work done that might have a little bit of procrastination in it but also I don't want to like tire myself out to where I don't even want to do like a relaxing thing after if that makes sense like what I mean by relaxing things I usually like to do like a journaling prompt and then read for a little bit but if I did my work first and then did that stuff I think I would rather like just take a nap or scroll on TikTok so I think I'm going to start with journaling. Also, I just wanted to say sorry for the lighting changes in this video. Once again, it is like a sunny day, but there's a lot of clouds going over the sun, so it's getting darker and lighter at random times. But I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling in my journal. I got this one from Urban Outfitters. I love it. I think it's so cute. So what I've done in it so far is we just have the front page that just says welcome. I have a 2022 reflections page, my 2023 goals. This was all in my ultimate guide to glow up your life video, which if you haven't seen it, I'll put it up here in the i card. 
I really like that video. But I've done a few spreads in here, and now I'm just gonna do like a regular journaling spread. I have a whole section on my Notion with journaling prompt ideas that I found on Pinterest, so I'm gonna go on there, pick one that I like feel like doing today, and then we're gonna do that. So I'm not gonna show you guys what I wrote because this is obviously more personal, but I will tell you the prompts that I answered. So I answered five prompts and the first one is, how am I feeling right now? Three actions to make me feel better. One goal I will actively work on today and how. What am I grateful for? And five affirmations. So these prompts kind of connect to each other in a way. And also I feel like we're perfect for the kind of vibe I'm going for today. So we have that done in my journal. And I think what I wanna do for the next maybe 20, 30, minutes is read a little bit of my book as you guys probably know I am NOT the biggest reader I know a lot of people on YouTube and social media are like very into reading and like they read a lot and it's like an aesthetic almost I have been trying to like get into that for a while when I have free time reading is not something that I would go to do it's definitely something that I want to do more and it's probably good for like my education and stuff but that definitely will take a little bit of time this is the book that I've been reading for a little bit now it's called every last word it was recommended recommended to me by someone in Barnes and Nobles. This is how much I've read. Obviously, it's not that much, but it is a very interesting book and I have liked it so far, so I'm gonna try to read a little bit more. Hopefully, I will get this finished soon and I'll find more time to read. But yeah, I just wanna spend some time to read this book and just kind of relax. And then after that, I'll get into everything that I have to do and plan for for the next week or so. Something that I find is very helpful for me, especially because I, like I said, I'm not like the biggest reader, is I like to play some type of reading playlist like either on my phone in my airpods or like on my little google speaker just because it kind of sets the vibe and keeps me reading for longer not that the book isn't interesting but just that like i don't know just reading in silence just doesn't work out for me so yeah i just like to pick a playlist on spotify that i can just play in the background sometimes i'll pick playlists that have like songs that have like actual words and sometimes i like to pick ones that are more instrumental depending on the day i think today i'll go with this one it's just a reading playlist and it has songs with words in it but they're like calm Okay, it is a little bit later, and now I'm actually gonna do the stuff that I usually procrastinate, which is plan out like all my homework and stuff that I have to do over the next few days for the next few weeks or so. So first I have my academic planner, and this is just where I put my homework for the week. So this is what this past week has looked like, and then since today is Saturday, obviously all of my homework would be from Friday, so I'll just add it here. And I just need to complete all of it by Sunday at 11.59, I think. So I still have plenty of time. and then. And since it is February, I haven't written anything on my calendar yet. So I'm going to fill that out and then also fill out my Notion because the Notion to-do list is like a to-do list that I have to do for my life stuff. So I kind of have different places to fill everything out. But I think I'm going to start with my academic stuff. So usually for school homework, obviously like when I come home from school, I know what's due the next day. So it's easy to just write it down. Obviously, I didn't write my homework after school on Friday. And I have block periods every day except for Monday, which means all the other days of the week I have either my even periods or my odd periods but Monday I have all of them so that means like all of my homework is due Monday so what I do is I like go through all my periods like in my head of like first all the way through six and I write down what I know I have to do my first period is AP Euro and I actually don't think I have any homework for that class which is amazing there is one thing that like I could do but it's not necessarily homework we have something called HTS which is basically like a bunch of these mini essays I guess that we have to 
you're right by the end of the semester that'll help us with like the AP test so obviously it's not due for a while but it's good to work on in increments so if I have time I'll work on it my second period is dual sports so nothing for that third period is Spanish and I actually have a good amount for that I have my Spanish vocab which we have to write in like Cornell style and then we also have to print out some notes my fourth period is English and I don't have any homework for that we just did a bunch of speeches at school over the past week so no homework for now fifth period is math and I think I have math homework I'm not exactly sure we, I know we have a test coming up so it might be like review and then sixth period I have chemistry which I do have homework I missed a quiz when I had a dentist appointment this week so I have to make that up on Monday and then I also have like word problems that I have to do so we have that written down and all planned out for this weekend and now we get to plan out the calendar So just some of the things that I put on the calendar. I put my two driving lessons that I have this month. First one's on the 12th, and then the second one is two weeks later on the 26th. I put my sister's birthday, and then I also put the dates that my best friend Lindsay comes. She is coming for my birthday this year. I'm so excited. If you guys don't know, I'm from Minnesota. I moved to California in seventh grade, and Lindsay's my best friend from Minnesota, so she's coming to visit for my birthday. And then my birthday is February 19th, and that lands on a four-day weekend for my school. So that is gonna Gonna be a very fun birthday weekend like i already said me and nika are gonna make it such a fun packed busy weekend which i will be vlogging of course so i have that written on the calendar and now i just need to put some things onto my notion to-do list me and my family are actually gonna go out to dinner together so i'm gonna put on a better outfit to do that and then when i get back then i'm gonna start to get this stuff done but that is basically my whole entire reset routine this is one of my favorite things to do especially on the weekends to kind of close out the week that just happened get ready for the new week if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever i post i post every monday at 8 a.m pst get excited for all the content coming up i know i'm gonna be filming a lot of vlogs like week in my life a birthday weekend stuff like that so get excited for that i'm really excited to post that for you guys thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you in my next video bye